can see, I am still in quarantine. Your girl is washing her hair, so bear with me, okay? So today I got something a little different. I don't normally share, you know, I'm usually a Jordan girl, you know, I got my thing going on. But today we got some forces. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there it goes. Some forces, some forces. This is the Air Force One react you know you have a sneaker and it hits you and then you'll be like dang i got a hat up here don't i gotta have it that's what happened with these so right off the bat let me this shoe is excellent excellente okay excellente is what i'm telling y'all so we're gonna set this shoe right here like this right here okay and we're gonna go over this shoe together okay because like i said i am not an expert on air force ones so um, but when I saw these, I had to have them. They're super dope. Just looking at some of the details on here, you, like I said, you got the translucent bottom here. You have this, uh, knitting. There's no leather on this shoe at all. So that's really interesting to me that I find this shoe so dope and there's no leather on it whatsoever. But, um, if you look here, I'm going to show y'all a little closer there on that shoe on the toe box. There you go. You have that knitting knit type cross stitch uh, design on the shoe all the way around it and if you want to look closer here that we you have an overlay this portion around the toe right here in the front all this and up where the lace uh, lace holes are excuse me suede all on suede. here where this actually says nike react on this little plastic portion that's on the mid so also you have this here going around it's a looks like a plastic white band here and then you have one of the most interesting parts of the shoe to me you see how you got it on there and you got the change in there i'm trying to get it to change for you all there's air react but i think this label here this shoe lace up uh, lock here and like in the middle of it the gray portion and i think the shoe laces that's 3m that is going to be so dope you understand so dope I, I fell in love with it because of the translucent sole and also the outsole here when you look at it you can see the in sole here through the icy bottom i thought that was super dope this shoe was primarily white with some gray overlays um you have the big nike swoosh which is just literally an outline and not even a full outline i like how it comes down and it kind of disappears into the midsole and comes up and makes that outline it's, it's super dope to me the tongue tag has like a holographic look on it and it, as well as the heel uh tag on it as well so and when you move it around, you can see Nike Air there. And then down here, it says Air Force One. And then when you move it around a little bit more, you can see uh, Nike React on there as well. And the concept um, is what really caught my attention. Um, I'm not sure if you hit on this sneaker, but these are doing really well. Like I said, Nike is doing some experimenting and they're putting some things together. And, and I'm, I'm liking it. You know, normally I stick to what I know. But, you know, I decided to step outside of the box and try the shoe out. So if you were able to cop the shoe, let me know what you think about it. If you didn't cop the shoe, let me know why you didn't cop the shoe. Are you not into the merging of the um, the merging of the silhouettes like that? Um, how do you feel about the merging of the silhouettes and the things that Nike um, are doing to make their shoes more innovative? I'm going to give you all a one foot of this shoe. Um, 